How's it going you guys? Lynx Forte here, bringing you my week one team builder going up against Chance and the Camden Ursa Ring. And <laughs> he has a very scary team as you can see um, on the layout here. Like, I just did this, like I had this pre-recorded already before I did the battle. And I was like, you know what? I want to do something better. I want to make it look nice. So I decided to whip this up and uh, I'm having to record this after the battle. But uh, yeah, he has a very scary team. It's pretty fast too. Uh, you have Starmie, Buzzwall, Jolteon, Porygon 2, uh, Megazard X, Regirock, Celebi, Mandibuzz, Weezing, Mr. Mime, and uh, Ambipom. And I think like, or what, it's Ambipom, I think Mr. Mime, Celebi, Zard X, Jolteon, and Starmie. So like half his team are all base 100 or higher. And then the other ones are just like fat or they hit hard and it's, it's it's a really good team and like it scared me as i was building but i did what i could and like a lot of the prep was for zardex ambipom and starmie not so much jolteon because i felt like i can handle jolteon but the biggest prep was for those three a little bit of porygon too as well um i was really worried about his team and how i could get around it Zardex, if that thing got in on something and set up, it just destroyed my team. Like, there's no switching for Zardex. Um, you have to catch it uh, before it sets up. So that was kind of my whole game plan when I was building and just trying to keep everything at bay. But let me get into this team real quick. The first Pokemon I'm going to bring is Needle King, uh, rocking a Choice Scarf, uh, Max Special Attack, Max Speed, Modest Nature. Uh, Sludge Wave, Earth Power, Thunderbolt, Toxic. Toxic seems weird, but the reason I want it Toxic is for that Porygon too, just to whittle that thing down. Uh, Celebi was there. I think Celebi is the only Pokemon on his team that could, uh, as as far as a cleric, I think Celebi gets Heal Bell. Maybe Mr. Mon gets something too. Celebi either gets Heal Bell or Aromatherapy. Maybe Mr. Mon gets one of those two. I'm not sure. I doubt it though. But yeah, that's it's like I really didn't have a fourth move that I needed, so I was like, you know what, Toxic would be nice, um, you know, because Porygon two can come up and eat and hit from Mr. Mom, so that's a, a pr uh, wow, Porygon two can come in and eat up a hit from Needle King. So if he tried to switch that in, you know, I just tear Toxic off, and that thing is just getting slowly whittled down. So that was the thinking behind Mr. Mom and Needle King. The reason why it's Choice Scarf is because. It destroys Charizard X if it's not bulky. Um, I can outspeed Starmie, and it's a roll to take it out, but it's a roll in my favor. And uh, everything else, you know, it's just there for that. Um, Jotun gets taken out. I think Regirock is a two hit, not even, not counting Sturdy. Um, Celebi is a two hit from Sludge Wave. Mandibuzz is a two hit depending on investment from Thunderbolt. Um, same with Weezing, depending on investment. Everything else gets two hit, but it was really scary, like Ambipalm, because that thing two shots me with like fake out return. So that was another good thing to have um, uh, the Choice Scar for, because at this point I'm out speaking everything on his team. So yeah, Needle King was like the first thing I thought of, and it was like the biggest thing to, in my opinion, the biggest thing to take out Zardex. Next up, I'm bringing Keldeo, uh, Choice Specs. Max Special Attack to Max Speed, Timid Nature, Hydro Pump, Sacred Sword, or Secret Sword, Hidden Power Bug, and Scald. Hidden Power Bug uh, keeps Keldia, or keeps Celebi from, you know, just being an easy switch in. Hydro Pump with a Choice Vex uh, takes out Zard X if it's not bulky. So, yeah, it's an easy Oko. Um, everything else pretty much gets decimated by a Choice Vex move as well. Uh, also, Hidden Power Bug hits um, Starmie, so, you know, that's another reason why I wanted to bring it. Basically, nothing on his team wants to take a uh, Hydro Pump from this thing, or it wants to really take any moves from this thing, as long as I can bring it in safely or whatever. And next up, I am bringing Sylveon, Choice Specs as well, Max Special Attack, Max HP, 8 Speed Investment to uh, just make sure, you know, I'm not speed time with Weezing. Uh, Hyper Voice, Shadow Ball, Hidden Power Psychic, and Baton Pass. The reason why I brought Hidden Power Psychic over like Psyshock is for the Weezing. I was expecting Weezing to be like uh, physically defensive this week if you were to bring it. Um, and that just did a little bit more damage than like a Psyshock. If 
Sylveon got access to the Psychic, I would have ran that instead. But <laughs> uh, HP, HP, hit, HP Psychic, if I can talk, uh, was just more of a safe bring than running Psyshock. And in fact, it actually does more to Buzzwall, just in case, you know, there's like some switching around or if I couldn't switch out, if I didn't want to switch out. That was a little bit more of a safe bring um, to bring just for that. But everything, you know, is pretty much two shot by Hyper Voice. Other than P2, I think P2 is still a three shot. Even that thing's just fat for no reason. <laughs> uh, anyway, the next mod I'm going to bring is Lycan Rock Midnight. Uh, Adamant, max HP, max special. Whoa, that's supposed to say physical attack. Sorry. I know it's actually, I know it's actually right. I did not screw this up. I just, when I was editing everything, I messed that up. But. Uh, max uh, special attack, not special attack, max attack. <laughs> max attack with a focus sash. Uh, I wanted to make sure I get my stealth rocks up. I get stealth rocks up and Zard is never in. Like, he, his only rapid spinner, or well, he's a rapid spinner in Defogger. Um, but the most reliable one is Starmie. And I just felt like rocks would be good against his team in general. Um, break any sashes, break sturdy on the Reggie Rocket that came in later. Uh, Stone Edge, obviously no guard, Stone Edges. Um, what else? Thunder Fang, Sucker Punch. I mean, Thunder Fang was for Starmie if I needed it to be. And Sucker Punch, Thunder Fang plus Sucker Punch took out Starmie. And for whatever reason, like, I stopped putting abilities on after Needle King. And no, after this one, for whatever reason, I don't have the ability on. And whatever. Um, for the next couple ones, it's not going to have the ability, but I'll tell you what they are. It's no guard for this one. Um, the, sp the last four in Spadef is just there, to be honest. Didn't mean anything. Uh, next up, I'm bringing Electivire, Phytanium Z, Max Attack, four in Special Attack, and 20 252 in Speed, Hasty Nature. Um, I wanted to, like, bluff, eat, like, a choice item. So I have Volt Switch on there with EQ, Thunder Punch, Focus Punch. Uh, Focus Punch, Phytanium Z. I can't remember if it O code P2. But I know it did a lot to where my next move would actually take it out. But, you know, uh, if I could bluff enough to where Volt Switch, yeah, I'm Volt Switching around enough to make him think like I'm special or, you know, that P2 can eat up a hit, uh, I can catch him off guard with a Phytanium Z Focus Punch, hit him hard, and then, uh, you know, just force him to switch in, try to see what his switch into Electivire was. Which, looking at his team, it's probably going to be P2. Um, but yeah, it's. That's just what my plan was with that. Last but not least, I am bringing Kecleon, and I forgot to change the item in this layout. Man, I gotta make sure I'm paying attention to what I'm doing. But Kecleon was actually carrying an assault vest. <laughs> uh, 252 in HP, 12 in defense, and 244 in special attack, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's carrying side beam for the Weezing, Thunderbolt for Mandibuzz, and Starmie. And then Shadow Sneak because priority and then Fake Out just in case. Um, the EV spread, actually, yeah, yeah, that's right. It's uh, the EV spread um, on the defensive side. It, it was just extra. And spoiler alert, it came in, it came in handy. <laughs> but uh, the Assault Vest with the HP allowed me to live a uh, Hydro Pump from Starmie pretty easily. And then, you know, hit it with a Thunderbolt and then uh, Shadow Sneak it. And that was that's what the the uh, calc allowed me to do and that was basically it like I just needed something else and I wasn't sure what else to bring so I ended up bringing that but um, yeah that's pretty much it for this you guys um, <laughs> I will make sure next week when I do this like I have my slides right as far as what my EV spreads and my items and my natures and abilities and all that stuff is but thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, comment down below as to if you think I brought a great team, uh, what you what you predicting for the battle tomorrow. And with that, I am out of here. See you guys tomorrow. This is Lynx Forte. Peace.